All right, we're going to get started with the agenda portion of the meeting. All right. We have ordinances on second reading. One, an ordinance to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance of the City of New Brunswick, Title 10, Vehicles and Traffic, Chapter 10 20. Handicapped parking schedule 39, parking zones for handicapped persons. Add three parking spaces. 44B Chester Circle, 10 Lower Place, 68 Rexon Avenue. Two, an ordinance to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance of the City of New Brunswick, Title 10. There was in traffic chapter 10 12, traffic control regulations, schedule 22, traffic control signals, George Street at Hamilton Street, George, uh, Johnson Drive, 2, George Street at Albany Street. And we have nothing on first reading. And we have resolutions. One, approve agenda amendments. Two, approve payroll. Three, authorize refund for redeemed tax sales certificates. Four, approve request for solicitation of funds requested by the Salvation Army for help for the needy. Dates November 24th to December 23rd. Specific location, Monument Tree Land. December 1st, 2017 from 5, 8, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Hyatt Regency, 2 Albany Street, carriage rides pickup. December 15th to 17th, 2017, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Corner of 27. Route 27, George Street, uh, November 24, 2017. December 23, 2017, Fridays from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Saturdays from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Corner of Commercial Avenue and George Street. November 24, 2017 to December 23, 2017. Fridays from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Saturdays from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. 5, approved charter, 159, budget insertion. Uh, Internet archive for community webs Empower, uh, empowering public librarians to create community history web archives, amount $6,500. Six, approve renewal of liquor license with special ruling for... <coughs> Rock, okay, somebody help me out. Rocker, yes, TK7. <laughs> <For, laughs> liquor license, no fan, I'm just, I don't want to be culturally insensitive. But liquor license number 1214, 33-033-004, 2017-2018-7. Approve award of contract with Cabot Nord Americas Incorporated for portable activated carbon system for the water utility. Specification number 615-17-WWRR. Not to exceed $93,750. Eight. Held at the request of the director of Rutgers Village Main Replacement Project, phase two specification number. Uh, nine, approve off-premise raffle 50-50 for the Heldricks Hotel and Conference Center, 10 Livingston Avenue, uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey, for State Theater Regional Arts Center in New Brunswick, February 10th, March 24th, April 7th, May 5th, and May 12th, all 2018. 10, approve amendment and resolution, reason to pay additional legal fees in amount of Orlando and Downingham for representation of Mayor James Kelly, the mayor of Steve Middleton, versus the City of New Brunswick et al. in Arthur Anderson. City of New Brunswick and punitive damage claim from $241,125 to $242,350. 11. Approve amendment of resolution R-051736, a change order with Allied Construction Group, Incorporated, <laughs> Northern American Canal, Western's Mill Pump Stations, upgrade specification number 24512WR, amount of $42,342. Approval of this change order will constitute an increase of 20% or more of the original contract. 12. Approved resolution authorizing a memorandum of understanding between the City of New Brunswick Police Department and Middlesex County Court Prosecutor's Office for specialized investigative law enforcement equipment. 13. Approved amendment of resolution. Uh, an additional $30,000 $30, for ongoing tax appeals for 20, 2017 for the Division of Assessments with Oakland, Long, Moran, Dunst, and uh, Dukas, LLP for 2017 Special Counsel for Tax Appeals, Division of Assessments. From seventy thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars. Four, uh, four, fourteen. Approved relaxation of noise order requested by Landscape Maintenance Services Incorporated. Reason to obstruct the twenty by twenty uh, portion of the sidewalk from, uh, front of three seventeen George Street to remove a tree that abuts the city right of way. Uh, Saturday, November 18, 2017, alternate date, November 25, 2017, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., four hour period during that time. Approve 15, approve amendment of resolution, extending hours for Saturday, November 18, 2017, from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., in order to perform a 3,000 cubic yard concrete pour. Relaxation of the City of Norwich Ordinance by New Brunswick Development Corporation, we have uh, AJ, AJD Construction Company, Incorporated. A reason to keep New Brunswick Performing Arts. Keep New Brunswick Performing Arts Center project on schedule. 
Date Saturday, November 18, 2017, from 6 a.m. to 6, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. 16. Approve amendment of resolution R-111729, change order number three, with Garden State Highway Products for 2017 furnished and delivered regulatory signs. Specification number 912-17, amount of $152.10. Approval of this change will not constitute an increase of 20% or more of the original contract. 17. Approve relaxation of the city noise order requested by Amquip Crane. Reason to place a crane on French Street to lift and to place all mechanical equipment for the Robert Wood Johnson Vertical Expansion Project. Saturday, November 4, 2017, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., non pro -tunk. 18. Approved relaxation of the city noise ordinance. Rel requested by Vergona Crane Company Incorporated. Reason to place a crane on Somerset Street between Eastern Avenue and Little Albany Street to remove existing roof, top HVAC equipment at the Cancer Institute of New Jersey. Date Saturday, November 18, 2017, time 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. 19. Approve amendment of resolution R-041469. Change order credit with Orchid, Orchard Holdings LLC, George Street, Commercial Avenue Traffic Signal, relocation specification number 847-14, credit amount $10,807.75. Approval of this change will not constitute an increase of 20% or more of the original contract. 20. Approved person-to-person -person place transfer liquor license. Uh, liquor license the Famous Dave's Bridge Incorporated to Saul Investments at New Brunswick LLC. 21. Approve award of contract. Excuse me. With Lex Nexus Risk Solutions online access to accident reports for the police department. 12 month period commencing, commencing November 19, 2017, ending November 18, 2018. Specification number 62617 RFP, fair and open. 22. Approve award of contract with JP Contractors for New Brunswick Water Department Plant Neutralizing Tank Coating. Specification number 611 17W. Not to exceed $242,100. 23. Resolution authorizing budget transfers, municipal budget. 24. Approve amendment of resolution. Reason additional amount of $2,000 for the New Brunswick Public Library with Sal Electrical Company Incorporated for electrical maintenance repair services. Specification number 494-15P, not to exceed $2,000. Approval of this change order will constitute an increase in 20% or more of the original contract. 25, approve amendment of resolution, an additional amount of $10,000 for the water utility. Shannon Chemical Corporation to furnish and deliver chemicals for bulk feed facilities. Specification number 106-217W. Not to exceed $10,000. Approval of this change order will not constitute an increase of 20% or more of the original contract. 26. Approved purchase by the police department of the state contract. A-877, M-7000, data communication uh, with Xi International Corporation for uh, subscription license for the police department. Not to exceed $1,566. 27. Approval board of contract with Maximum Quality Foods Incorporated for furnish and deliver products for the Senior Citizen Resource Center, 12 months commencing November 19, 2017 and ending November 18, 2018. Specification number 623-17P, not to exceed $21,982. 28, approval amendment of resolution R-111725, change order number 12 with Joe May Contracting Corporation for 2015 sanitary sewer improvement with phase 2A, specification number 895-15A, not to, uh, oh, the amount of $13,000. Approval of this change order will constitute an increase of 20% or more of the amount of the original contract. 29. Approve appointment of counsel for Harry Hausletter and Esquire for special counsel for conflict attorney for tax appeals, division of assessments, not to exceed $3,000. Then 30. Approve amendment of resolution with change order number one with Jack Construction Corporation. Uh, diamond, diamond construction for uh, crosswalk safety improvement in roadway, warning lighting system, Lee Avenue Comstock Street, Lee Avenue Delavan Street, Lee Avenue uh, Handy Street, Remsen Avenue Ward Street, specification number 881 15, credit amount $54,780. Approval of this change, or this change order will not constitute an increase of 20% or more of the original contract. 31, how much request of the city clerk? 32, authorized tax collector to transfer credits on several tax accounts. We have items for discussion by council, so on and so forth. Mr. Uh, Mr. Council, yes, sir. Mr. Council, with H1, um, the proposed uh, city council's meeting schedule for 2018, there's a draft in your packet. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it's consistent with what we had discussed about um, 
the conflict days, uh, July 4th being one of your meeting days for me, and we moved to July 5th. Mm -hmm. And there's one other on there, double 15 Thanksgiving holiday. So that's an order that will be agendized for the next meeting in December. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> meeting will now come to order with the clerk. Please do us the honor of calling the roll. Council Vice President Anderson? Here. Council Member Egan? Here. Council Member Escobar? Here. Council Member Sakura Ludwig? Here. Council President Fleming? Here. Please be advised that the notice requirements of the Open Public Meeting Act has been complied with and satisfied, and that the annual notice will gain sufficient notice in the time and place of all conduct of all public meetings of the Municipal Council of the City of New Brunswick has been filed with the City Clerk and has been placed on the appropriate bulletin board in the lobby of City Hall, New Brunswick, New Jersey, and has been transmitted to the official paper of the Home News, um, paper of the City of New Brunswick, namely the Home News. So please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Liberty and justice for all. Please stand for a moment of silence for all those that have died senselessly in violence around the world, especially in this country, and especially for those that have given their lives in defense of freedom around the world. Thank you. I'm going to entertain a motion on the minutes. Is the motion accept the minutes? Second. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Egan? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Sephora Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes. We have ordinances on, we have no public hearings, and we have ordinances on second reading. An ordinance to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance of the City of New Brunswick, Title 10, Vehicles and Traffic, Chapter 10 20, Handicapped Parking, Schedule 39, Parking Zones for the Handicapped Persons, at three parking spaces at 44 Chester Circle, 10 Laurel Place, and 68 Remsen Avenue. Would anybody from the public like to speak on this? And this alone. Seeing none, move the ordinance. Second. <clears throat> Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Egan? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Sakura Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes. Okay, we have two in order to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance of the City of New Brunswick. Title 10 Vehicles and Traffic. Uh, Vehicles Traffic, Chapter 10 12, Traffic Control. Regulation Schedule 22, Traffic Control Signals. George Street at Hamilton Street, Johnson Drive. George Street at Albany Street. Would anybody from the public like to speak on this? Seeing none? Mm -hmm. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Egan? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Sakura Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes. Okay, now we move on to resolutions. We have resolution one. Through 32. Does anybody from the public like to speak on the resolutions and the resolutions alone? We are holding 44 and we're holding 44 and 67. Seeing none. We need resolutions. Second. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Egan? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Sakura Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes. Abstaining on 10. So noted. All right. Now we have items for discussion by council that we already do. We wish to be entertaining for the uh, 2018 schedule. I believe we have a few since last day. Yes. Normally the, uh, the council meeting would fall on that particular first Wednesday in July, which would be July 4th. So we have proposed to move the meeting to July 5th, which is a Thursday. At 5 30, the same time it would be normally, um, but the fourth. And then the other date would be? And the other date is uh, the, year, the November 21st meeting, which is the second meeting in, in November, is actually the day before Thanksgiving. Uh, in light of the fact that many people travel the day before Thanksgiving, we have proposed to move that particular meeting to Tuesday, the 20th of November, same time before 6 30. So those would be the only two. Uh, Schedule changes, if you will, that are out of the ordinary. And if the council's fine with that, as I indicated earlier, we could uh, have that resolution ready for adoption at the next meeting. Anybody? Anybody object? No. 
Okay, and that will be on your agenda for your, uh, your first meeting of the Senate. So noted. All right, and I apologize that uh, there's a turkey giveaway. Okay. I left the paper in the other room. Oh, you took it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for bringing it out for me. I appreciate that. Uh, there's a free turkey distribution for residents of the city of New Brunswick on Monday, November 20th. That's this coming Monday. In front of City Hall on Byer Street, turkeys will be distributed on a first-come, first-served basis with proof of ID and New Brunswick residency. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, in conjunction with the Community Food Bank, Manuel Lutheran Church, and Christ Church. So if you know a family, not just a family in need, and somebody that needs turkeys, please distribute the information and we'll try to get it out on that. Is it already on the city website? Okay, it's already on the city website. All right. So we'll know that anybody? Uh, Saturday is Veterans Day Parade. Uh, it's a little cool, but it was very nice. Well done. Uh, congratulations to all the veterans who showed up. To the Grand Marshal, Mickey Stallone. Yes. Here, it was called to the Grand Marshal. Yes. All right. Anybody else? All right, so now we're going to move to public discussion. Anybody from the public, please step forward to the microphone. As a reminder, in five minutes, please state your name and address for the record. Oh, Danielle Moore, 45 Street. I catch my breath moment. <laughs> coming, coming up the stairs there. Uh, I want to mention about getting back to Livingston Avenue due to where I know as we spoke about it maybe about five months ago, about how dull the Mr. Matthew is. I guess I need a moment, please. Coming up the stairs, not that young anymore. <laughs> uh, due to where how dull it is. I know they're supposed to repair uh, Livingston, Livingston Avenue, but they never gave a date. But I would like to say, wow, I didn't see so many close calls on the corner of Livingston and Elizabeth that's right by Food Town again with the dull, dull white light. I'm asking the city, please, once again, not to wait until the construction goes through just to change the bulbs. You have over five bulbs that's out on Livingston Avenue. And I meant, wow, close calls of somebody really getting hit again. And you know, due to where it's getting, time went back, it's getting dark around five o'clock when you still have the kids coming home from, from school, for after school programs. So I hope that is something that you can do immediately, call into PSE and G to have them to replace those both, the ones that are out. We have, like I said, at least four that are out. Well, yes, yes, you can. You're referring to street lights over the street, street, street lights, yes, right. where the, where the uh, it's better with the orange lights. Those the lights are very dull, and then like I said, being dull with a lot of them there, you have so many street lights that are out over there, like I said. Please, I, I hope you can, that, that doesn't like what take so long to do that. Well, what we can do is on the way home, Mr. Uh, uh, I will stop and get the poll numbers. Uh, through the mayor's office, we have a contact with public service to report, to report you know, out, out fixtures. Now, changing the type of bulb, that's a whole separate scenario that I don't know that we can address at the moment, but certainly the missing bulbs we can. Uh, but it's all new street lighting and the contemplated design, and Ms. Moore's right is probably about a year away since we will see that. But uh, but certainly as it relates to the bulbs that are out, we can address those immediately. Okay. Okay, thank you. And then also, to where I know uh, when I mentioned to you about putting the flashers up 15 miles per hour for middle school on Livingston Avenue, that was where you said it was put in. That's where you had to speak to the county about that, where uh, it, to, to give to the county, there's over 100 pictures to show why this is needed as soon as possible to slow, to slow down to slow down 35 miles per hour to 15 miles per hour school zone. Every other school has it. If the county needs, needs the pictures, here you go, and then that's where I will give for the Board of Education. Over 100 pictures to show. It may not be drivers as well with the kids running across, but like I said, another thing with close calls. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, uh, has the board of, I, board of Education written their letter yet? Actually, the letter came from the city Department of Engineering, as well as North Brunswick. It's a state, it's a state right away, not county. Just want to okay. clarify that. The state required that both New Brunswick and North Brunswick make a request. 
In addition to that, there was a form that the Board of Education had to fill out. That's all been done and submitted to the state, I'm going to say, at least four weeks ago. So they, the last time we did a request, it took them about two and a half months to respond to us. So we have to wait for the response. But the letter's been out to them over four weeks. So then there's, there's no way where you can like put in a, a, an emergency request, uh, like I said, how, how many close close calls, like I said, with these kids there. I'm not aware that there's emergency request procedure, but I will inquire. Well, okay, thank you, because like I said, this, put them on CDs, like I said, over 100 pictures to show how many close calls are there. And then another request that, that was where for uh, Livingston Avenue right there, that was the situation where uh, they crossing guards said they're having a problem with parking, where parking on the corner, that was where I had mentioned possible for orange sticks to go there on the, on the corner. I'm sorry, uh, uh, also yeah, orange sticks. Uh, can I show you? I'm sorry. That's right, uh, right on the corner, corner there. Oh. Actually, the pictures are, are there to this show. This is at Livingston, Livingston and 8th, 8th. I mean, 9th and or 12th. It's 9th and 12th. Not, that's 9th, but where the crossing guards are. What they're saying, like I said, the pictures are there where it's hard to see, making a blind zone just to where uh, the cars are parking there. So, oh, I, okay, and I believe that's all. Thank you for that. Thank, Thank you. Please look into that as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi, Carlos Ramirez, New Brunswick Bay. Uh, my first question to the council does the council have any comments on the New Brunswick Police Department investigation into the Housing Authority? No. No, okay. Does Captain Miller have any comments on the investigation? Can you address it here and then Captain Miller? May you ask Captain Miller if he has any comments on the investigation? Captain Miller, do you have any comments on the investigation? It's ongoing. It's ongoing. It's ongoing. It's ongoing. Sorry. Are there any witnesses entitled to having an attorney present than giving a formal take statement to the New Brunswick Police Department? Is there any policy that states otherwise? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? All right. Are witnesses entitled to have an attorney present when giving a formal take statement to the New Brunswick Police Department? Or is there any policies that state otherwise? Are they entitled to have a witness when giving a statement? To the police. No, a lawyer. Oh, a lawyer. A lawyer. I'm sorry. It, it would depend on the circumstance. It, that question is too general to answer. It just like. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, what are the council's biggest accomplishments of 2017? Can you? Because you're reading right now. I can't. I'm not getting exactly. What are the council's 2017 best accomplishments? Oh, that was one of Charlie Craig's questions, and I told him before we weren't answering. All right, so you're not answering this time either? Um, no. All right. Um, you can tell them that, too. All right. Is it illegal to park on the new Amtrak bridges? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, I've seen the New Brunswick Parking Authority is enforcing that um, as well. Can you confirm whether or not, since the cones are illegally put into the street to reserve parking lots, is it allowed for any stranger to come and take the cones? Is it? Is it? Is it illegal for any stranger? My question is, is it, since there are cones that are illegally put on streets or reserved parking lots, is it legal for a stranger or pedestrian to come and take that cone? Oh, did you, all right, so if the cones are illegally put on the streets, is it illegal for somebody to remove the, the illegal cones? If they're illegal. If they're illegal. If, they're illegal. if, they're illegal. if, if the cone does not belong to you, then yes, you can get that. The illegal cones. You're, you're taking, like, you're taking like, something that doesn't belong to you. That's not right. So that's illegal. Illegal. I think that somebody can a resident or a private citizen put a cone on the street. I think that's what you're talking about. No, it's a Canadian. Yeah, okay. Somebody put it to reserve the street. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. 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 If you're asking me, are you allowed to put a cone to reserve the spot? No, it's a hot public property. But that's not what he's asking. He's asking if someone takes something that doesn't belong to them, it's a theft. Okay, they just move it to the uh, sidewalk and park it. It's not, it's not their property. The, uh, the person on the other side could have a complaint just in the other way. 
Now, if uh, traffic cones are installed by a private citizen to block vehicles from parking in front of the fire hydrant, would that be illegal? Yeah, I can't understand what he's saying. He has to ask it again. If, okay, could you could you say after he's saying? Can you, uh, can you? There's a fire hydrant on St. Anne Street with yeah. little cones in front of it to keep people away from parking. I cannot do that. All right. But so, as I stated, I have put cones there, so I'm asking the council because today I had those cones stolen by a FedEx driver. I did file a report, and this is my next question. Um, an officer took, um, they didn't want to take the report because I, I was a minor, and I had statements taken before from officers with uh, an adult present. Does the, is it illegal for an officer, or is it allowed for an officer to take my statements when I've been a victim of a crime or in other situations? You, the officer should take your report. If you um, have their information, I'll forward it to Internal Affairs and they'll do an investigation. All right, so even if I'm minor, they're, they're required to take the statement. Even if he's a minor? To take a statement or take a report? Take a report, statement, whatever. Like no, there's two different things. They can't take a statement from you without your parents present. They can't take a report from you. To fill All right, so if it's an report, they can't take it. Yes. All right, thank you. Another question is, um, will the city be in be um, kind enough to put um, cones or some type of barrier to put in front of the fire hydrant in front of my home, which is located in the intersection of railroad and Sudan where the fire hydrant. Right. Can they, no, the I man, I'm just going to assume that. Can the city put a cone in to prevent people? The police department's not going to put a fall cone in front of the fire hydrant. I don't know. It depends on what department is asking engineering or I don't know what he's asking. In general, any no. official can say, but it, you can't block the park. Right? Um, I mean, like it's a cone. It's obviously it can be made away. But it's already illegal to park there anyway, so anybody who parks it. Okay. Yes, but Let's call the police. Yes, oh. I call the police, and trust me, they didn't arrive. I had an officer arrive the next day, and vehicles parked there for four hours. The Brunswick like, Parking Authority drives by. They don't ticket the vehicles. <coughs> police drive by. Last time I even have a video of an officer going by and stopping and rolling down his windows while there was a vehicle there illegally parked and he drove right off after that. I'm not sure that the New Brunswick Parking Authority can give out tickets for that, Captain Lowe. Parking in front of a fire hydrant. I believe again. Again, okay. okay. If uh, Mr. Ramirez has a video of the cop doing that and making that comment, please bring it to me and you know, we'll investigate it. Yeah, I mean, like, there was no comment. He just rolled down his window and looked at me while taking the pictures, but the officer just kept on driving and seeing that. The car was the part. I thought you just said the officer made a comment, but I'm sorry. If I'm no. Mistaken. All right. That's all my questions. Thank you so much. Also, um, special thanks to the city for um, donating um, turkeys to, uh, to the community. Thank you. Thank you. So now I'm getting into Dr. Jersey. For the reason I I didn't. I don't think we spoke since the um, uh, Texas Houston Relief Commission. Mm -hmm. Well, we surprised, but I didn't come publicly. Yeah. To, you know, uh, thank you. We had come back for a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I want to publicly, you know, thank you. It was a great job. You know, uh, what you did and uh, participation that was involved with, you know, uh, you being here and uh, things of that nature. I got a lot of the. You know, Accolades for taking the trip, but you know you didn't get as much. But you were you were a major part of uh, making it happen. And I wanted to. And if I knew Bruce would have did that at the NAACP banquet, I would have gave him a heads up to let him know. You know, you also had a major part. Of it. But I didn't know he was gonna do that. Uh, uh, I also want to um, mention. I seen the statue. I don't know what it's about because I remember you know months prior, you guys said that you were gonna put up. Um, I mean, I maybe mean, months prior, as you guys said that you want to put up uh, that various statue in different areas, and I know there's one by the Hildridge, I think. Yes. I'm going to go by there and look at that. I, I don't know where it is, whatever, but what's the next plans in the other one that are going to be set up? Because I know. Which one? Um, they said there were going to be different historical markers right. throughout the city. Right. Now, I'm assuming that's one of the first ones. Yes. Uh, I believe the uh, New Brunswick Public Sculpture Group is looking at a statue of Paul Robeson and um, Joyce Kilmer as their next um, statues that they're looking to fund. 
Is anyone like voting on this? Or are they just taking They take input, input right? right? They take input. I'm sure they take input, sure. You want to get, I can get you the, I can get you the information. Sure. If you want to go down, we can yeah, we'll go, we'll put the input in. Definitely. definitely. All right. And um, last but not least, you know, this is very short. I'm trying to get you guys out of here. It doesn't matter how much Captain Miller grows his beard out, he will never be a Tormel pig. On that note, anybody else from the, from the public? I promise you guys I won't bother you anymore about the cats. <laughs> I uh, just wanted to share with you, my name is Nancy Scalzone, I live in Raritan Gardens, Chester Circle. I uh, just wanted to share with you that we do have a November 27th, 10 a.m. meeting set up with, with Russ. At that meeting, we'll have Jane Guillaume from People for Animals to help formulate this ordinance favorable to the needs of the city. There will be representatives from rescue organizations. There, Mr. Brian Hackett from the, from the Humane Society of the United States, New Jersey Division. He's the director. You've been invited to be there. Sir, sir. Can you stop talking? We can't hear it. Mr. Brian Hackett from the uh, HSUS New Jersey Division will be there. Also, Ms. A.J. Albrecht from uh, Best Friends Animal Society. She's a lawyer, uh, advocate. And she will, she's from Best Friends Animal Society, which is a national organization. She has also been invited to, to attend. These people have extensive experience in writing uh, ordinances in New Jersey and across the country. There was no way I knew we were going to get an ordinance passed here in 30 days. Because of that, we're respectfully asking you to continue with the ban on enforcing the, feed, the no feeding ban until we can wrap this up. Uh, the caregivers in the city are most grateful for this, especially since we are now approaching the time of the year when the weather is getting colder. Um, I've been made aware of a couple of instances where animal control has gone into yards and removed feeding stations, which are no more than rubber-made containers tilted on their side to keep the food dry. Uh, I don't know why they felt the need to, I don't know what the rationale was there, but uh, they allowed people to feed the cats but took the rubber made container, so I don't know what that's all about. I also wanted to share with you on Monday, uh, probably about 20 representatives from rescue organizations were at the Middlesex County Freeholder meeting. Mr. Brian Hackett presented the board with a coalition letter signed by 28 rescue organizations and veterinarians in county in that these are veterinarians that participate in spay and neuter of feral cats we are extremely optimistic that the county will pass a resolution favoring tmr as have four or five counties already in the state have mr tomorrow a freeholder from edison is in himself tnr's cats edison has a pretty good tnr ordinance uh, we have also expressed the urgent need for a county and regional shelter. Helmetta building sits empty. I urge you to contact your freeholder colleagues and see if uh, they can make a push for maybe taking over this building. I was in Helmetta the night of the New Jersey SPCA raid. We need a shelter that is run by, competent, by a competent director. I, the horrors that I saw in that shelter that night, and we were contracted to shelter along with 27 other communities, which was way too many for them to be contracted to. From 10 o'clock that night till 2.30 that morning, I was in the cat room, cleaning cat cages, feeding animals that hadn't been fed in two to three days by the uh, director and her husband of this shelter. So um, we have an empty building there. The county takes over this building, finds a great director. There's no way people would not volunteer to help with this shelter. We have a very urgent need. And unless we pass TMR in this town, New Brunswick will never be able to contract with a no-kill shelter. We need to keep these cats out of the loonies. In 2016, she reported 317 cats taken into the state. Well, I know that's impossible.
because we had 300 cats from New Brunswick taken there. She put that down for the whole year. However, her kill rate for that 317 was 248 cats. She does not advocate for lost animals. There's no way to, to anybody, anybody that loses their pets there, and I'm, not, I'm talking about dogs too, they're supposed to call her and find out if she has the animal. There should be a way for the city, if they find pets, dogs that get lost, cats that get lost, people that report them, there should be a way that the city can put this up on their website or Facebook page or something. We found your cat, we found your dog, it might, it's, you know, the problem here is that we have no place to hold, you have no place to hold the animals and you're forced to bring them to uh, Blow Mix. And at the present time, I need to, I think I should mention that uh, there is a campaign going on right now run by uh, rescue organizations and in the next month or so we plan to sterilize as many cats as we possibly can in Middlesex County in this area. Um, it's imperative that we do this because there are kittens out there still being born and we don't want kittens going to clinics. I get a kitten back cremated in a box. She throws hers in the garbage. So Thank you. Uh, we're looking forward to this meeting. And once again, I ask you to please continue the ban on, uh, on not finding these people for feeding the cats. Thanks. Thank you. Anybody else in the public? Seeing none? Motion to adjourn. I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody in your families, uh, everybody from the city, the work here. Thanks, Second. Mm -hmm. Council Vice President Anderson. Yes. Yes. Uh, real quick, we have a tree lighting on December 1st. Starting December 1st, 5 to 7. 5 to 7 p.m. We hope that everybody can make it out. Council Vice President Anderson. Yes. Council Member Egan. Yes. Council Member Escobar. Yes. Council Member Socorro Ludwig. Yes. Council President Fleming. Yes.